So the two fundamental elements in Euclidean geometry are the point and the line. And we're going to start um, this uh, series of Euclidean geometry with GeoGebra by examining what we can do with points and lines in GeoGebra. Um, so I'm using GeoGebra Classic 5. Um, and right now you can see the algebra view and the graphics view. And if yours doesn't look like that, you can always um, go to view, right? Algebra will show and hide that. Um, there is a graphics 2. We don't need that. So if you have graphics 2 showing, you can close that. We just want graphics. Um, and we'll eventually use some, some properties and things like that. So right now, um, I have my axes and grid showing. Um, I typically don't really like to, to view those because I feel like they get in the way. Um, so I'm going to make sure I'm on the move tool. I don't have anything selected and I'm going to right click um, and click on axes and grid in order to hide those. Um, so, you know, play around with, um, you know, what you, um, you know, what, what your options are and that sort of thing, but we'll slowly kind of get through everything. All right. So first we want to do points. So, um, next to, the move tool. Um, so each of these buttons have a little drop down arrow, right? Um, so next to the move tool, we have the point tool. And we've got a lot of options here. I'm not going to get into all of these. Um, but to start, um, just the basic point, right? This allows us to, to put points in our space. And you can see that um, the algebra view populates with the labels of those points and the x, y coordinates of those points. Um, I don't really like just a bunch of, of kind of randomly placed points. So typically I like to kind of assign one of my points to be at the origin with coordinate zero, zero, you know, and maybe another one of my points at the, the point one, zero. So I'm going to click on, oops, um, <laughs> I always, when I'm manipulating things in the algebra view, I want to make sure I'm always on this, this arrow move tool. Um, so I'm going to click on C, shift, click on J to select all of those, and I'm just going to hit delete because I only really want these two points. Um, so we can um, double click here um, and I can change the coordinates of point A to be 0, 0 and hit enter. Um, double click on B, I can change these to be 1, 0 and hit enter. And now I know that any line that's defined by those two points will be horizontal, okay? And this line tool next to the point tool, um, you can see we've got a, a few options here, right? You should remember from, from basic geometry, you know, the difference between a line that extends forever, a segment that um, has two endpoints, an array, um, that has one endpoint and extends forever in the other direction. So I'm just going to use my line tool um, and I click on one point and then the next point and GeoGebra automatically um, names the first line F, um, so for function. And because that line um, is the horizontal line with y coordinate zero, uh, the equation of that line is y equals zero. Um, if I click on my, my arrow move and click on point B and move it around, you can see um, the coordinates of point B change and the equation of that line F changes as well. Um, I can, you know, either undo to put B back or I could have edited its coordinates here. Um, I'm going to show you, I'm going to right click on um, 
this in the algebra view. I could also right click on the line in the graphics view. Um, from either one of those, I'm going to go to object properties. And notice under basic, so as long as I'm um, over here um, in basic, we can see that that line is defined as the line through points A and B. And so no matter um, how I change those coordinates, um, this line will adapt to go through um, those two points. So then let's just kind of briefly look at some of these other point tools. Um, point on object. Um, well, okay, so we've got to be careful um, about the just the regular point tool. If I just use the regular point tool and click on um, what I think is on a line or what I think is on an intersection, um, that point isn't necessarily going to be associated with the thing that you, you think it is. Wherever you click with the basic point tool, um, that's going to be the coordinates of that point. If I want to make sure I'm adding a third point to this line, um, I want to select point on object. And what this is going to do um, is it's going to assure that any point that I make, um, you can see how it changes to the hand tool, um, it's going to lie on that line. And now notice I can't drag that point C away from that line, but I can drag it along that line. So this point is defined by the line, whereas points, whoops, points A and B define the line. So these I can change, I can move around, um, but C is stuck on the line. Um, we're not gonna worry about attach, detach point right now, um, intersect is a super important one, especially if we're doing geometric design. So I'm gonna just draw another line, just kind of random line. Um, so before I already had these two points defined, um, I'm just gonna click twice and that creates just two new points wherever I click um, and this line again is defined by those points. So I can drag those, those points around. Now, um, if we define a line by two points, we also define a point by where two lines intersect. And so again, I don't wanna just use the point tool to try to find that intersection. I wanna use the intersect tool. And now GeoGebra is pretty good um, if it's very clear where that intersection is and there's nothing else too close to that intersection, um, typically you can just click on the intersection um, and you can see that that new point F is defined as the intersection of those two lines, F and G, okay? If, say, you've got some other points or lines or circles or something um, in that space and you just want to make sure you're clicking in the right spot, um, I'm going to delete F. So notice I select it with my move tool. We can also create an intersection um, by selecting the two lines that we want to intersect. So I'm going to click on my intersect tool and then I'm going to click line F and then line G and you can see that it, it creates that point um, at that new intersection. And now notice, because that point is dependent on these two lines, if I change either of those lines, that intersection changes with that. Um, you can see over here is still on um, this line. So um, I would say those are probably the three um, most kind of common point tools. Um, the midpoint tool also comes in handy. So that is exactly what it, it says, right? It's, it's midpoint tool. So um, if I click on any two points, that's going to define the midpoint between them. So for example, let's say I wanted the midpoint between A and B with my midpoint tool selected. 
I click on A, then I click on B, and that makes this new point G. So now if I move A or B around, we can see that G um, you know, is still defined as the midpoint there. Um, I don't necessarily have to have a point that's on a line. So let's say I want the midpoint between C and D, for example. So that creates this point H over here. And remember, C lives on this line. Um, D defines this line. Uh, but notice that point H is always going to stay there um, as the midpoint. So then, um, just kind of briefly, let's look at a couple more of these line tools. I would say the, the two most common ones I use are line and, and segment. Every once in a while, I, I use the segment with given length, but typically I'm doing um, geometric constructions that are kind of independent of scale. Um, so I usually just use the line um, and the segment. So segment works just like line. Um, if I just click it um, anywhere, right, then I'm going to generate those endpoints and the line segment between them, or I could click on two existing points and that creates the, the segment between them. So now I've got three different types of objects that I'm dealing with. I've got line segments, lines, and points. Um, by default, GeoGebra populates the algebra view um, by order of construction. Okay, so top to bottom, I made A first, then B, then F, and then the last thing I made was I. Um, I like to view instead um, by object type. So if I click the arrow, so I always kind of want to make sure I'm on the, the move tool here so I don't accidentally do anything that I didn't mean to. Um, if I click the little arrow next to algebra, um, you've got some little drop downs here. This one, sort objects by. If I click the, the drop down arrow, I can sort by dependency, object type, layer, and construction order. So I want to sort by object type. And so we can see now that um, I've got my two lines, I've got my points, and I've got my segments. And why I especially like to do this is because not only can I select individual things in the algebra view, but I can select all objects of a single type. So say, for example, um, I don't like all these labels on thing on, on my points, say. Um, so I can click on point here and it automatically selects all of them. Um, I can right click there, um, click show label, um, and that hides the labels. If I click show object, it'll hide them. Um, and notice um, what that did over here um, is it just turned the little dot next to each of these objects white. Um, I can always hide and unhide individually by clicking on um, those. Um, yeah, so I think that's probably a, a good start for this video. Um, later we'll, we'll get into colors and some of the more complicated line tools and um, go from there. All right, thanks a lot.